Music is more than just entertainment for a group of students at Georgia College in Milledgeville. They are using their voice, instruments, and songs to help people in their community. I found out more about the school's music therapy program. Take a look. There's a lot of definitions for music therapy. I think the easiest way to think of it is uh, being able to use music as a tool to help people with a wide variety of things. Ranging from emotional well-being to physical needs, music therapy is opening up a world to those who may feel like they don't have a voice. We can, be meant to be. we can use songwriting as a way to communicate with our clients so they talk more about themselves and we can kind of get a better feel for what their needs are. Or patients can use instruments, like the drums, to express how they're feeling. If they play really loud, sometimes that can mean either they're excited or they're um, upset, but by playing that you kind of can get a better feel for what, where your client is at. Students in the music therapy program at Georgia College are learning what it takes to help treat people of all ages. We work all the way from children with um, just needs on speech. Um, we work with older adults with mental health. So it kind of depends on the client a little bit um, because that will dictate what it is that we're going to work on. And they're taking these lessons out of the classroom and into the community. One client that I've worked with, whenever we'd start playing music, he'd get the biggest smile on his face. They benefit from it from a clinical standpoint, but it also just makes them happier. Having that actual hands-on component is huge, and the flip side is that the community gets to benefit from it as well. And a way for these students to combine their passions, helping others through the healing power of music. And Georgia College is one of two schools in the state to offer a music therapy program. And this week, the students are showing off what they've learned in a performance. And joining me now with more on that show is Dr. Chesley Mercado and Jimmy Helms from the Georgia College Music Therapy Department. Good morning. Hi. Thanks Good for having morning. us. Thank you so much for joining us. So what is going on with this? With It's tomorrow night, actually, that the performance. Talk about that, Jimmy. That's correct. Uh, well, they're going to perform original songs that they started writing back in the fall semester. Mm -hmm. And um, we recorded them. We made a CD. and and recorded other songs. So we have the CD made that we're gonna sell at the performance. And uh, this gives them, it's a good learning opportunity because in the field they're gonna be using, you know, they're gonna have to get familiar with PA systems and recording and all the stuff. Right. Like special events and, you know, Christmas and different things. They have events where they're gonna be working. So it's a good learning experience. Plus they have, um, you know, it's, when you write a song, you know, you, they've never written a song. Some of them have not written songs. But when you write songs, it's sharing part of yourself, so it's kind of scary. So, you know, it's going to get them used to doing that. And so. Dr. Mercado, this also, you know, it's, it's benefiting the students, but it's also benefiting, you know, the patients that these students are getting to work with, right? Mm -hmm. Well, one example, um, we'll be playing a song at the concert that was composed by a group called Survive and Thrive. And these are adults who are cancer survivors, and it's at the um, Georgia College Wellness Center. And the participants wrote the lyrics, and the students wrote the music. Mm -hmm. So they'll be performing. It's a way for them, the clients and the students, to express themselves and to really get how they feel and where they're going in life um, out in a song. And it's beautiful music, too. Tell us, where is this performance going to be, and the date, the time, all that good stuff? It will be at Buffington's downtown Milledgeville, starting at 6.30, and it's free to the public. And uh, I think there's going to be a lot of people, so if you're coming, you better get there. <laughs> <laughs> and talk about the experience it's been. You mentioned this is the first time for many students to write these original songs. Has it been a, a difficult journey for them? Has it been a pretty simple process? I, th uh, I think some of them were a little hesitant about coming in to record, you know but uh, I finally got them all there. There's actually a few that I would like to have done, but it ran out of time. Mm -hmm. Maybe I'll, I'll get them next semester. <laughs> and there's the CD, too. Like If the people yeah. like what they hear at the show, they can, yeah. they can keep mm -hmm. it, a record of it. <laughs> uh, yeah, and you know, the art department made this um, artwork on the CD, so we, and they did a great job mm -hmm. of doing that. Mm -hmm. 
All right. Well, thank you guys so much thank for joining us this morning. It thank sounds you. like it's going to be a great show. And if you want to catch it, the concert is Thursday night at Buffington's in downtown Milledgeville. The performance starts at 630 and it is completely free. So no excuse. Get on out. <laughs> and for more information or if you want to get your own CD, you can call 445-2654.